plaintiff, Norma Hawkyard, says the defendant is her son. And although she loves him, she doesn't love his actions. Norma claims her son has always been rebellious and even threatened her and destroyed her property. Norma is suing for rent and a television. Defendant Adam Hawkyard admits that he acted out as a child, but feels as though some of his punishments were excessive. Adam claims his punishments were abusive because he was hit with a paddle, a belt, and even a curtain rod. Adam denies owing his mother for anything. Start with you. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you. I wish the circumstances were different. Mm -hmm. I love my son. I just don't like his actions as of late. Um, we really have uh, had a rocky relationship. Since um, when? Since he's been young. He's been kind of oppositional to whatever you, you know, would suggest. Teenage, adolescent? Uh, he got worse as a teenager, yes. But even as a child, uh, he had some problems. Like what? Um, he would not want to do homework, or he would not want to do something like clean up his room. He would deliberately not do it to prove that you couldn't make him do it. Did you ever get the impression he needed counseling or something? We did have him in counseling okay. for many years. And, there it is. You did your uh, best. That's yeah, all. Yeah, we did our best, and we don't know what happened. Um, at this point in time, oh. he's become, um, def like I said, defiant. Mm -hmm. uh, what brought me here is because he's become threatening. Yeah. Um, he's become violent. Did psychologists ever tell you anything about oppositional defiance disorder? That's what they said he had. Yeah, but did they recommend him to a psychiatrist to be medicated for it? He was. And he was medicated for it and it still doesn't work? Nope. Well, I mean, medication doesn't always work. After a certain point in time, he gets old enough, you can't do anything about yeah, it. He's, he he's yeah. on his own. The thing is, is he needs to be on his own now, on his own two feet, living out there instead of being at home, watching TV, letting somebody else pay the bills. Um, he, like I said, he has threatened me. He has put holes in my walls. He has destroyed a TV of mine. That is one of the things I am suing for. Um, well, you're a great example of uh, a mother who did her best. You did every single thing that was suggested. That's exactly what you were supposed to do. You did every single thing correctly, and you continued to. And after adulthood, it's tough love. Don't come around me with that nonsense. And if you're not paying or doing what you're supposed to do in my household now, then get out. That's where we're at. All right, and you're in the right place. All right, so let me hear from you, young man. Our relationship has never been smooth as sails. Mm -hmm. It's always been rocky. We never agreed on anything. Oh, no. What were you so? What did you expect to agree on, like at an age 12 or 10? <laughs> yeah. I'm just curious. What would she tell Reasonable you punishment. and you say, well, I don't agree? Go ahead. Reasonable punishments. Oh, how would you get on punishment? I admit I did a few stupid things okay. as kids. There you go. But I believed as I look back at it now, that some of the punishments were a little more excessive than what they should have been. Okay, but you do admit to getting in trouble every time there was a punishment. Yes. All right, let's start there and end there. What else? <laughs> Physical punishments, I'd usually get hit with a belt, mm -hmm. paddle, at a time when I was about five or six. Yeah, I was me too, also, me too. I was <laughs> hit with a curtain rod. Huh? When I was about five or six, I was hit with a curtain rod. Mm -hmm. I think I got a crowbar. <laughs> All right, so what else? At a point in time, I just got fed up with the abuse that I felt that I was getting, and it was undeserving. I will admit, I was a stupid kid back then. And when I got punished, I deserved that I got punished. But the punishment that happened, I don't think I did deserve. Good enough. All right. Um, and for that reason, you and your mother haven't been able to get alone all these years? No. Except when you need to stay with her. Even then. Why do you move in with her then if, if you don't it get along? It was either that or the streets. Well, <laughs> you better choose the streets. Plaintiff Norma Hawkyard is suing her son, who claims Norma abused him as a child and would hit him with belts and paddles to punish him. You don't have to do everything I say if you live with me, but you have to go by the rules of my household. Exactly. And if you don't want to go by the rules of my household, then leave. How old are you? 26, sir. <laughs> <laughs> My son, Amir, is on his way out. He's not quite 26. All my other children are out, except for my daughter. She's just starting her career as a lawyer, so she's there, and they're about to get condos. But, you know, Amir's, he 
for the most part, 90% of the time, he obeys my rules. But that little 10% of the time, the option is, hey, check with you. <laughs> That's how that goes. Go ahead. I have a monetary breakdown if you'd like to look at Tell me what your agreement was uh, and how he owes for he that owes rent and television. $600 a month for rent. Starting when? March 1st. All right. And it what months June, are you suing him for? March, April, May, and June. So he never paid a dime. I got $120 at one point. That was the first check he brought into the house and the only check. It's not true, Your Honor. How much did you pay? I paid in total of about 622 for the first two months of rent that I was there, plus the additional $120 of groceries that I did buy. Is that part of the agreement, groceries? Yes, Your Honor. What was the agreement on groceries exactly? Pay my portion. There were four of us living in the house. I'd pay one fourth. Okay. That had nothing to do with the rent? Uh, I'd say it had to do with part of the rent, but that was only what to part? bring Tell me. my portion of food. Well, what percentage of the rent, sir? She uh, said the rent was 600. You say the rent was how much? A fourth of 1200 was $300. And how much was it for food? Monthly food income was about seventy to five dollars because that's how much I would eat. Not no, true, Your Honor. That's the amount out of the three hundred. No. That rep that's what we're talking about. You told me that the food was a portion of the rent. Now, is that correct or not? All right. See, you mixed up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with what you say. Whatever it was, he ain't pay any of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ma'am. That's about. 2400 in rent that you're suing for. What Correct. about this television? What happened? I have a TV that, um, well, he had been sitting in the front room watching it and playing his games on it and everything else. So one day when he left, I got tired of I was paying all the bills. So I unplugged the extension cord from the wall, unplugged all of his game units, unplugged the TV, took all the, the cords and everything into my room and hit him so he couldn't play. And when he came home, he got really mad. And so he went out in the garage and got another extension cord, and he was going to plug stuff in. I said, no, you're not. And he goes, yes, I am. I said, you're not going to watch my TV, on my PG&E, on my cable. I'm paying all these bills. You're not paying anything, so you're not using it. He goes, you can't stop me. I said, oh, yeah? Got a pair of scissors, cut the cord to my TV. So then he decided that the TV was garbage, and he picks it up, and he starts to carry it out. I said, where are you going with my TV? He says, I'm throwing it in the trash. It's all it's worth now. I said, no, I can get a new cord. Oh, no, you can't. It's obsolete. And he went like that. And I said, oh, don't you dare. He just looked at me. And he, you could see his face turning red. And finally, he just went and threw it down. Where does he live now? With his father. OK, good enough. Sir, tell me about the television. Well, she is correct. I did put the TV down, or I dropped it, after she told me to drop it. Oh, I did not! He's finally found the rules now. Yeah. I told you to All put right. it down so, on the table. He says he's finally following the rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I do have a picture of the back that is broken off. As long as you put off. him out, and you keep him out. And then he, <laughs> you when he comes right. to you, tell him, it's either with you or the streets. Say, hey, well, you want a blanket? <laughs> Off, <laughs> offer him a blanket for the streets. I even crocheted him one, Your Honor. Huh? I even you crocheted, crocheted him a blanket. <laughs> That's right. Plaintiff Norma Hawkyard is suing her son, who claims Norma abused him as a child and would hit him with belts and paddles to punish him. And what is it you want to show me? Your Honor, I have two pictures of the cut cord and the back of the television. All right, he keep says him. Keep him. Put him up in a frame. Three thousand. <laughs> Three thousand dollars is your you, judgment. Your Have a good day. Thank you. I don't want to see her or deal with her anymore. I'm tired of it. I still love him, and I've always been there when he's needed somebody. Nobody else would take care of him, so I, I take him in. But what I've decided to do is be, like the judge says, tough love, and he's going to have to live on his own. He hasn't got a place to live, and that's his problem now.